And welcome to another Energy Facts Chats with, uh, with me, J.P. Warren, and Mike Umbro. And this, I got to say that this, this little segment has been going so well, we're actually using AI right now. Mike's still in Cal uh, California, <laughs> and I'm in Houston, and it looks like he's right here. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. No, uh, he just got in town from uh, California to, to attend NAEP, uh, a couple of NAEP events, do some uh, networking, uh, yeah. do some uh, dinners and all that stuff. And we kind of just want to, uh, first off, it's awesome seeing you in person. I know. This is fun. This I like is three. Great. I like 3D I Mike Umbro. It. Like yeah. 2D Mike Umbro is great. I'll take 2D Mike Umbro <laughs> in, but 3D Mike Umbro is next yeah, level. It is. Different it's level. It's always so. nice to be in person. So, let's, so, so I, this is kind of a quick little uh, energy facts chat that we're having today. I kind of want to, like, I, so what I've seen that what you've been doing and kind of um, there's there's a lot of st st stuff going on behind the behind the scenes. Um, uh, when we start energy fact chats, uh, the, this this series that we're doing, where we kind of bridge trying to bridge energy expectations or realities, mm -hmm. that's been the whole goal to do this. So pretty much what what I've seen. Uh, so we started this energy facts chats about two and a half months ago, and the whole goal of it there's. There's a lot of uh, uh, information out there. There's a lot of uh, studies. There's a lot of, we've all seen it all about technology or a potential technology that could solve or replace uh, what we're using, the traditional method, what we're using currently. And, and the whole goal of it is just kind of say, hey, look, we understand what people are saying. However, the realities out there cannot, do not fit that, uh, that the, the, uh, the expectations that we have. So we started this and it, was, it kind of happened around the same time that you began uh, the Californians for Energy and Science uh, yep. movement, if you will. Yeah, movement. It's a movement. It, it, it kind of is. is. And I, I think that I, what I want to do today, again, this is going to be a real short one just because I want to get an update on uh, what's been going on. I want to get uh, to find out on the forefront what's been happening over at Californians for Energy and Science. You've had your third meeting now. Third meeting, first official meeting since being an actual nonprofit. Okay. So we had two, call it setup meetings, November, December, and then we had our first official meeting as a nonprofit this past month. Okay, so w when you and I uh, were talking about the Californians for Energy and Science, mm -hmm. I think on, on one episode, I think you just had your second meeting, I believe. Maybe. I believe. Yeah. So tell, yeah. walk us through what's happened from the second meeting. And mind you, I'm, I'm blown away about the, about the movement, the traction y'all yeah. are making out there. So yeah. kind of fill us in, fill in everyone out there on kind of what you are doing, because the more people that, that see this that I talk to, they're mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that he's doing that. I didn't know that he's you know, putting this together and all that stuff. So I would yeah. love for you to kind of fill uh, people in where y'all are at today yeah. and, um, and maybe throw in some struggles and also where y'all, what y'all looking forward to, forward to going in the near future. Yeah, so we've had our, like I said, our first official meeting. We formed the entity, a nonprofit. We've had uh, really all the major operators in some form or fashion have attended. We've okay. had folks from ERA, CRC, Chevron. We've had folks with independents. We've had folks that own service companies. Um, we've really had the full spectrum of people in the industry and also students. We've got a student from UC Berkeley that is, nice. a, that is an environmental engineer and he's coming on board and connecting us with faculty. Yeah, Berkeley. I feel like Berkeley. that cat reached yeah. out to me. Oh, Maybe. He probably did. did. He's so, a go-getter. Yeah. Yeah. Joseph Silvey. He's probably yeah, out I think so. I He's going to so. be watching yeah. it. Shout out to Joseph. But um, we're, we're getting a lot of positive feedback. I think one of the challenges in our actual meetings is the tendency for all of us to just go back and forth about all our grievances. That's a very and, easy thing to do. <laughs> especially in California with, with so much going on from the regulatory standpoint, from the current environmental impact report being in, you know, appeals again. Luckily, we as an operator got our permits, but there's just but that, a I, lot I feel going like that's on. By, you got, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure you had all your ducks in a row, but mm -hmm. I feel like at that point, it's kind of what operator is lucky that day. Yeah. When it comes to kind of who gets the right. permits. Right. Who's there, who got yeah. their checks in. Yeah. Got Someone had a great day at morning. Yeah. Right. Stamp it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, where we're at now is we, we have an intro video on energyandscience.com. People can see that. People can click join us and that. So the website is live. The website is okay, live. Okay. And we're going to we're link that. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So is mine. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is for a year and a half and yeah. mine's still basic. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. But the way, the way I see it is really. Like I've told the folks joining us, this is something that's going to have to happen over years. We're not going to solve no. this in two meetings or four meetings. It's going to take years and years of just building our case with the data we have, and it's there, but we need to, we need to compile it and present it in a way that is digestible yeah. to the public, 
to the courts, to the regulators, to everybody. I, th I think I, I think a multi-tiered approach at that. You're right. It is getting the policymakers. It is getting the courts. But it's also the general public, which yeah. I think is has probably a huge voice in that uh, kind of when it comes to public perception and all that stuff. So I think right. that'd be a, kind of another like that, that's that's a big challenge all are taking. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, let me let me ask you a question. So it seems like. This idea you have to kind of bring everyone together and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, has this ever been done before in California? Because it seems oh. like California, like, it's people are constantly getting fed up with doing business out there. They move in, they, they leave there. And I would feel like the frustrations have been there generationally. Yeah. Right. So, has something like this ever happened before to this organization level? Um, I think different organizations have existed and do exist. But oftentimes, what I see is they can be. The issues they cover can be dominated by their largest members. And so, okay. you know, if you've got a major, they might have a lot of outsized influence on what's okay. happening in, in their organization. But in terms of bringing, you know, service companies and operators together and trying to really build a grassroots movement around, you know, Kern County and then greater California, I don't. I don't know that it's been done. I haven't seen it in my 15 years of being What in the makes industry. California Californians for energy and science stick right. versus these other ones that have maybe that are still around but the ones that kind of have formed and kind of diluted throughout the years. What makes this different? I think I think we're in a policy window that's opening due to high utility gas prices, high electricity prices, high gasoline prices. So I think the dynamic in the state is making people say, wait, I want to learn about this. Okay. So I think that's, I think the fact that we're going out to the public and saying, hey, we want to just study the data behind our product versus the products we're importing, yeah. whether it's from another state or another country, I think adds a level of intrigue that hasn't been there because it's typically the oil and gas it's all industry, lump it's all and lump we just versus, want to yeah. talk oil and gas and we just want to be this oil and gas industry that really um not, not many people have a favorable view of right so it i think just the fact that we're saying hey we're energy and science those are our two pillars and that's our focus makes people i don't know less triggered by the idea, you know, it's, of you know, it's interesting. I had this conversation uh, yesterday. Uh, I was on a podcast, and I, I said the same thing. I said when I when I meet people now, um, you know, historically, I say you know, I'm oil and gas, I'm oil and gas. I feel like you're right. There is such a connotation when, when you mm -hmm. say that word. When we say those two words, oil right. and gas. So now people, say, what do you do? I'm in the energy industry. Right. Oh, what energy? Oh, oil right. and gas. So right. I'll segue. Just hey, look. So I say that so they understand that, hey, oil and gas is energy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, so. yeah. It's important. And I think, I think we're learning as an industry how to communicate with the outside world in a weird way. We are. Because, yeah. because we've, as an industry, just relied upon the majors who have the biggest PR budgets, the biggest marketing teams, all that to kind of spread the message. And really... Um, yeah, it's nice, but it doesn't uh, speak to anybody. It does not it speak, to anybody. speak to anybody. It's more of an advertisement. I mean, right. you see people in all the, you know, the Chevron shirts putting the frames up, and they're like, Chevron, powered by people. It's like, right. that doesn't tell a story. That's, right. just, that's just giving it to a marketing company saying, hey, make us look like a, yeah. Right. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think it's more grassroots. It's more, uh, it's, it's more um, um, genuine. Right. It's more right. Uh, a genuine message. All right, so real quick before we kind of close out here. Dude, you have done some, okay, so first off, two and a half meetings, Two and a half months in, you are making strides. I've mm -hmm. seen probably about two or three uh, videos, professional videos. Not as professional as this. This is the high budget <laughs> stuff right here. But I'm talking about like you have you uh, you've had some like Dateline uh, type of interviews. Well, like the California Insider. I'll Not take quite that. Dateline, I'll but take that. Cool. Well, yeah, they're they're I feel cool. like Dateline. Yeah, Dateline's the professional deal. Yeah. yeah, it was very professional, yeah. and that was like a that was a good like seven to twelve like. Yeah. Please, am I close to it? It was like, yeah. it was like a 7, 12 minute clip, right? It was like 25 minutes. When they did the whole deal. They did the, the whole, whole deal. The whole deal okay. was 25 right. minutes when they posted the whole interview. So you. It's up to 61,000 views. So, so you, how are you, I guess, how are you um, creating such a splash in such a short time? A lot of people out there that try to start mm -hmm. something, start either it's a movement, a company, whatever yeah. it is. How are you doing such a huge splash right now in such a short amount of time i you know hopefully it gets bigger hopefully it becomes a wave but um and i think it is i think it's because 
the operators and the service companies want to participate in this. Yeah. They, we all want to solve these problems. We don't want to just curl up and you know flee to another state to operate. Nobody wants to do that. So everybody wants to stay and figure this out. And I think the general public, like I said before, is really starting to search for answers. When, you're, when your natural gas bill in your house goes from $80 the month prior to $380, you're like, what is going on? I want to click on whatever I can see that's gonna explain this for me. And so I think, I think it's just the timing of things and I think it's only gonna get more important that we talk about these issues facing to, our To industry. me, it doesn't sound like a, a want, it sounds more like a need yeah. uh, for the industry. And, and honestly, from doing these energy fact chats, and I'll still say this, like, I had no concept, well, I had an idea, but I mean, I really couldn't speak or, uh, or, or understand uh, electricity generation. I had no idea. I mean, I, I'm sure I could find a no idea, but I mean, when I start seeing all everything that goes into making energy, mm -hmm. what time of day that this source of energy creates more energy, you know, right. more power, this versus this, like right. it's such a fascinating thing. And I think that's, and that, and that honestly, if there's any, if there's one thing for people to take away from this is go to that website, go to your yeah. local website, uh, your local power generation website and learn about what's generating your power. Right. And that's going to kind of give you a couple, that's going to kind of fill in a couple things between the lines as to why your electricity prices might be going, uh, uh a lot higher or mm -hmm. two to three times higher than we're yeah. seeing across the country. So I'm learning a lot from this and I, I really appreciate that. And I'm digging what you're doing out there. Thank so you. Keep I it appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it. And I hope, you know, it's open to anybody. You don't have to be in California. So if you so, want to contribute. So Lee, so talk to us about that. Tell us how people can get involved in this. In yep. this. And uh, not only that, tell us kind of your, your, your short-term goals. Obviously, yeah. long-term goals, we don't know yet. Cause, right. But tell us your short-term goals for this. Yeah. So if our website is www.energyandscience.com, all spelled out, okay. three words together. Uh, pretty easy. And click join us, fill it out, and I'll get that form. I'll add you to our communication okay. list, and you'll get our meeting announcements, what we're covering. Uh, our next meeting, what we're doing, we're electing a board of advisors, so we'll have a board of five. Uh, we've got some committees laid out that we want to have a committee, you know, to research, a committee to uh, engage the community, a committee to make sure we're engaging, you know, the diversity of our yeah, workforce. And, and so we're, um, we're going to start studying, you know, what is our environmental impact. So our first study, we're going to study active drilling sites and active production facilities for impact. You know, where do the emissions go? Okay. Are there emissions? What are they? Basically because California is really pushing hard for setbacks of 32 right. feet. And they, as a, as a regulatory body, have used studies from the Marcellus, from the Midland area, from it's the Dakotas. They're, they're piecing it, things they're together using, so they can take your land. They're using high pressure shale gassy fields to yeah. look at yeah. California issues, which is heavy oil, you know, dead oil, very, different. very, very little very, gas very production. Diff very different place. Very different right. from a scientific perspective. So we're just going to study that one issue as our first uh, study, but then we're going to look at the ports and the tanker yes. emissions and that stuff. I am so I'm fascinated about that. So yeah. obviously keep keep everyone updated yeah. as to those studies and all that stuff. So yeah, so you can get involved. Uh, you just go to energyandscience.com. Energyandscience.com. Join now. Uh, it does, they don't spam you. Trust me, I'm on it. They don't yep. spam. It's actually really good stuff, and <laughs> and he sends out some uh, some good uh, information for you. Not just about the meeting, but also uh, some data behind it too, which is kind of fun to kind of uh, go down. So. Uh, uh, keep up what you're doing, man, and Appreciate obviously it, thank you own out there for uh, for tuning in to Energy Facts Chats. Again, this is kind of a an update on uh, what's going on with Californians for Energy and Science. And hats off to you guys and thank girls you. for uh, for I guess making so much progress in such a short time. Kind of makes yeah. me feel like a a, a procrastinating piece yeah, of crap. Right. But hey, no don't way. worry about it. But uh, <laughs> thank you everyone out there. And uh, if if you, if you like to check out some of our old videos, we just uh, did one uh, with a uh, that talked about I guess the the how California's uh, electricity is about to double and triple and skyrocket and why that's happening. We're also excited uh, to have Yannick, our German geologist friend who's uh, been in California for 10 plus years. Um, great, great person, a uh, great dude. He's got back from uh, Germany. We're gonna talk to him kind of uh, to, to get some, uh, to get, get some, 
what, the, 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 the street beat to find yeah. out what's going on people on the streets what the conversations about energy are over there so if you like it share it uh, make sure you subscribe and thank you all for uh, for tuning in and it's always good talking absolutely to you. um i wish we had a sponsor but hey thanks to the sponsor <laughs> for this for this cgi my california for, for energy and science <laughs> uh, but uh thank you all for tuning in and we'll, and we'll talk to you all soon